For the next year, the city of Austin will house up to 300 people who are homeless at a massive warehouse near the airport. And some local groups have said they're worried about the project because they believe the details are unclear. KXN's Grace Reader dug through public records to find out what the facility will do. We can't even enforce uh, effectively the no camping ban that the voters authorized two years ago. And we've not been able to effectively uh, enforce it because there's insufficient shelter beds. In an attempt to quickly get people off the streets this summer, the city of Austin will open its marshalling yard, a massive warehouse near the airport, to people who are homeless. They're working with family endeavors to put up roughly 300 beds. Shower trailers, bathroom trailers, uh, we'll make sure that there's a laundry service, and of course there will be some common areas and areas for staff and case management services. Austin City Council approved the more than $9 million contract last week. Councilmember Zocadri was the lone no vote. My worry is that we, we, we rush this rather than take our time uh, and that what we see are unintended consequences are people uh, you know, suffering in this uh, shelter. The shelter will provide things like computers, case management, and services to get people into more permanent housing. Family Endeavors will also provide a shuttle to and from places like the grocery store and bus stops. Still, some worry the one-year contract is a ticking time bomb. What happens after that, you know, year? That's, that's a great question. When we close it, we're going to be back less bit. So we ought to look at those kinds of things. But I don't think that decision needs to be made right now. Grace Reader, KXAN News. And we've been reaching out to Family Endeavors since last week. They told us they're working to provide more details, but they need approval from the city. And we also asked the city to let us into the marshalling yard. They did not allow us inside today.